Hi guys, um, in this video we are doing a very special 10 questions with this boot that I found on the corner of the high street. This is Este, I'm sure you all know Hello. her. Este, are you ready? I don't think Este knows the rules of my 10 questions videos. We're not just doing any old q and I don't, I don't really care what lipstick you like using. I want to know the questions that not everybody else has asked. I'm terrified, but let's get into it. Did you wet yourself? No. Question one. I'm going to start you in nice and easy, my friend. If you ever invite me around for dinner, what are you going to cook? Oh, well, I don't cook. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I literally never cook. Aslan cooks. What would Aslan cook? He's a big fan of, like, feta. This is what he made for the last dinner party. Let me close my eyes. I'm going to visualize okay. it. Feta and blueberry salad to start. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese and fruit. <gasps> Quite. <laughs> and then he made some um, potato greenery stuff. Once he made uh, homemade macaroni potato cheese. Potato greenery stuff. <laughs> Essay's cookbook will be coming out never. <laughs> <laughs> but you can pre-order my book, Bloom, coming out September 1st. <laughs> Ding! Question two. If you were to drive a tube or a train, what fun things would you say over the microphone? Oh, that's so hard because I love when they do that. I like when they complain. I like when they say, what a miserable day it is on Monday. Have a moan, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> Just put it over the airwaves. We appreciate it. I like that. I like when people joke around about the doors closing on people. I don't like when they're like, don't lean on the doors. No, You're like, no. there's no room in here. I've got no choice but to lean. I always lean on the doors. I bet. Cash, but no one else is on the tube, I reckon. Oh. Adrenaline junkie. See, I'd be like, you all look fabulous today. Have a gorgeous day. Yeah. Or I'd be like, who farted? If my hair was long enough, would you braid it? And how would you braid it? I would love to braid it Kim K style. That look she's doing. However, oh. I can't braid. You can't I cook. You can't braid. This is turning into a very miserable video. <laughs> I can braid simply, but like, I can't do French braiding. Would you be adverse to putting in accessories like beads and tassels? Well, I used to have dreadlocks. Yes, I like this about you. Yeah, and I used to have loads of beads in my hair. So I am loving the beaded hair. About air airport security is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gone off. It's one of my beads. <laughs> one of them silver, I don't know which one it is. Question four. If you were a kind of vegetable, what would you be? Oh, I don't know Quite why- Quite the question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is coming to mind. Purple carrot. You are such a purple carrot. If I have ever met a purple carrot, it is you. <laughs> something not ordinary, something slightly different with color. Purple carrot. Classic. You know, I've eaten a purple, car purple carrots once or twice, and I do think they taste better than orange carrots. And purple carrots are the original carrots. They are the original, yes. Yeah. A well-deceived fact that mm. carrots are orange. Yeah. Ooh. What noise does a badger make? I don't know, but I'm going to take a stab mm. at it. Feel, just be the badger. Feel the badger inside you, and let us know. <laughs> As they are nocturnal creatures, if I heard that in the night, I would be <laughs> deeply disturbed. Sing me your favourite 90s song. Everybody dance now! Jump me to music! <laughs> I don't know, I actually know the words. <laughs> I think you and I should bring out a choreography video. <laughs> <laughs> but that one just came to my mind very quickly. It was beautiful. Yeah, but I love 90s music. Me I was raised on too. it. Whatever your 90s favorite song is, please put it in the box below because I would love to know. I also quite like suggestions for my Spotify playlists. Este, I'm a straight man. You've just met me in a bar. You are single. You want to chat me up. How would you do it? Oh, you know, I actually am quite a flirt. No. 
I've been in a very nice relationship for almost seven years, but I occasionally do enjoy a flirt. That's how we met in the first place, my <laughs> darling. So if I was in a bar, which number one would never happen, but if I was, I would go up to the person and say, um... Wait, let me, let's okay, act yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just sipping my, my mocktail. <laughs> oh, we're starting, we're starting. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, what's your name? Jeff. Oh, Jeff, I like that name. You know, I used to know someone named Jeff. Come on, I'm nearly finished with it. Um, <laughs> with a tall one. Listen, my hotel room's upstairs and I've got ten minutes. I mean, personally, I would have gone with something like, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Nice <laughs> shoes. But basically, I've got 10 minutes. I've got a hotel upstairs. <laughs> Do you want to just make this quick? Next question. Which Disney hunk would you like to date and why? Well, I think the only one that comes to mind right now is Aladdin. <laughs> Mainly because he's topless and has a good voice. Yes, and he can walk around the streets, everybody knows him. Hey, Aladdin! <laughs> I, <Yoo -hoo! laughs> I like his monkey, Abu. Abu. And I, I oh, uh, this is a talent. I can do the sound the monkey makes. I wouldn't call that a talent, but we will settle with your monkey impression if you would like us to. <laughs> If you were on death row, what would be your final meal? Oh, Burger King. Really? I love Burger King. Really? Like, what do you order? A double cheeseburger. I love double cheeseburgers. So, no hors d'oeuvres, no starter, any olives? Uh, I think it's just because I really want Burger King right now. You don't have Burger King? No, I don't. I feel sick as soon as I eat stuff like that. Oh, I love it. Some would call me a culinary diva. <laughs> If you were to compete in an Olympic sport, which sport would you pick and why? I've never been able to do this even in school. I've always wanted to master the high jump where you go on the pool, much like Aladdin does, mm. over the thing. Mm. Um, I was always quite good at the shot put because I was always the biggest kid in the class. Shot put, never really a sport that you want to be into as a female. <laughs> No problem. High jump is a difficult one though. Yeah. Because you've got to get it in the stick, over you go. I could never bend my back enough. I mean, since I've been able to bend it in all kinds of positions. <laughs> not at school, not at the high jump. I personally would pick ribbon twirling. <laughs> Does that count? Yeah, it's gymnastics. It's like a thing. Oh, I was good at gymnastics. <laughs> we'll get a Joe Malone box out. We'll just go through it. <laughs> and there we go. Estee's 10 questions. You are marvellous, darling. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and head over to Estee's channel where you can see me challenge Estee at some accents. I'll pop the link in the box below. Um, as ever, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram are all at Jules Von Hepp and my blog is JulesVonHepp.com. Estee, any handles you'd like to share? The main one at Estée Lalonde. And everybody doesn't know how to say my last name, so it can get confusing, so I'm glad I can say. Lalonde. Lalonde. French people probably say Lalonde. We're not doing another accents video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Loads of love. Bye. Bye.